Welcome to Parish Prayers and Beyond. It's good to be with you here on this Parish Prayers and Beyond Extra. Tonight, uh, this is an extra because we're in the middle of Vacation Bible School this week at First Baptist Church, and we're so excited for the children to be here. Uh, we have a theme of Christmas in July. What a great theme. Uh, we'll be talking about, uh, or actually we've been talking about uh, Jesus' birth uh, and what that means for us. And so the children have been having a great time already and uh, we're excited uh, about that. But since this is an extra, we're talking about on mission. The mission of the church is to send out people to go out into the world and to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus. Uh, in fact, Jesus himself sent us out. Listen to what he said in Matthew 28, verses 19 through 20. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age." as we go, we're to share the good news of the gospel. You know, sometimes there are special opportunities to share uh, the gospel in other places on the earth. Uh, this, in fact, this Friday, four uh, of us from First Baptist Church of Winsboro will be headed to the city of Campinas. I think it's Campinas. I want to say that's correct. But Capinas is in Sao Paulo, uh, the, state, uh, the state of Sao, pa of Sao Paulo of Brazil. Uh, it's located in, the south, in southeast Brazil, uh, and it's uh, northwest of Sao Paulo, okay, uh, where Rio de Janeiro is. So it's, it's uh, northwest of Sao Paulo northwest of Rio de Janeiro. Now you can find it on the map if you look. It's a big city, uh, but it's northwest of Rio. We'll be working with a few churches there, uh, doing evangelism, uh, even building a church building for a church that's been planted there. A lot of excitement going on. There'll be some uh, vacation Bible schools uh, that will be held, a uh, sports camp, uh, a lot of things happening. It's exciting to go on a mission trip. Uh, I hope that you'll pray for us. There's nothing special, though, about the four of us who are going on this trip. Nothing special. Nothing special. We're simply vessels that God is using uh, to share the gospel. We can be used here. We can be used there in Brazil. But we're instruments through which the gospel is shared. And that's what God wants to do with each one of us. Each one of us who has professed Jesus as our Savior and Lord, each one of us who has called upon His name to forgive us of our sins, we repent, we turn away from our sin, we ask Him to forgive us, and He comes in inside of us to live. And He guides us in our life. Through His Holy Spirit, He is guiding us, directing us. And we're to go and to share the good news. All of us Christians have the same mission to share the gospel. We may be given the opportunity to go somewhere and to share uh, maybe just with an actual geographical neighbor, someone who lives next door to us. We, may, we have that mission to share with them the good news of the gospel. Or it might be that we run into someone at a doctor's office or maybe at a store, and God opens up a door for us to share with them. At all times, in all places, we need to be aware that God may just want to use us right then and there to talk about Jesus, to talk about what He has done in dying on the cross for us, in taking the punishment that we deserve for our sins. Look, we have opportunities all around us, and I, we just need to be sensitive to the fact that God wants to use us, and He is giving us those opportunities. Our sensitivity to God in the moments that we have with others can sure make an eternal difference in their lives. The main goal of each day that we have should be is how can we share Jesus with someone? How is it that we can point someone toward God today? 
That should be our main goal of every day. Sure, we've got other things to do. Sure, we have a list of to-dos that we need to take care of, but our main goal should be pointing others to Jesus. So how can we do that? How can we do that? If we're sensitive in the moment, we just might find that God opens a door for us to point someone toward Him. We just might find that God is opening a door through which we can walk and bring someone with us and tell them about who Jesus is. Will you do that this week? You, have, you will have opportunities. I promise you, you will. Will you be sensitive to the moments that God gives to you that very well could turn into opportunities to share Jesus with someone? As always, we have some prayer requests coming up and some announcements too, and we ask that you join us in those. But let me pray for you. Would you let me do that? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, O God, for this day. I thank you for my friend who's seeking to live like Jesus. I pray that you would help them to see those opportunities that you give them to talk to others about who you are. Lord, we know that some people, when they hear, they, they, they may not be right then ready to uh, make a decision to follow you, but Father, if they're open just a little, they are one step closer to making that decision. And Lord, we know that you use us you do. You use us in helping others to get closer to you. And Father, we hope that in some way we can be used by you to help others to get one step closer to making a decision to give their lives to you, to ask you to forgive them of their sins and to truly give their lives over to you and let you guide them. Lord, it's about a relationship and we understand that. And we're praying for our friends or anyone that we have an opportunity to share with. Lord, that you would open up their hearts, help them to hear you as we share with them about what Jesus has done on the cross. Thank you, Father, for the opportunities that you give us. Help us to have our eyes open to see those opportunities and to make good uses of them. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen want to thank you for joining us for Parish Prayers and Beyond. Again, stay tuned for those prayer requests. Pray through those and watch for the announcements at the end. Until next time, I'm Pastor Craig Beeman, and this has been Parish Prayers and Beyond.